Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to stay updated with all our latest content. Join us and never miss out on the excitement. Ragnar returns to Kattegat with slaves and treasure. Lajritha protects their farm when Svein comes searching for Ragnar. Ragnar learns that the priest he enslaved is named Athelstan. Once they hit land, Nut tells Ragnar that Earl Haraldson wishes to see him. The Earl confiscates all the treasure, but allows them to take one thing for themselves. The Earl asks what Ragnar will take for himself, and he decides to take Athelstan as his slave. After, Rollo is upset that Ragnar gave in so easily to the Earl. Ragnar tells him not to worry that this is only the beginning. Rollo shows him that he had hidden some treasure away for himself, and Ragnar tells him that that was a stupid thing to do. Ragnar returns home. He shows the children the priest and lets them touch him. Ragnar and his group make their way towards the town. Rollo gets upset because Ragnar says that they aren't going to attack until the next day, Sunday. King Ale is told about the raiders. He wants to know where they come from. Ragnar makes them wait until they hear the church bells before they attack. Once they do, they find the village to be empty because they are all at church. Ragnar invades the church and instructs the priest to tell his people not to resist. Outside, his men loot and raid the village. Nut tries to rape one of the women, but Ladritha stops him. He turns his attention to her next. Nut gets her pinned against the wall and try to rape her, but she knees him in the balls and kills him. After the raid, Ragnar asks where Nut is and Ladritha tells him that she killed him. He asks if anyone saw, and she says no. They head back to the boat, but when they arrive, the Saxons are waiting for them. They engage them in battle. While they are outnumbered, Ragnar's group still manages to win. The Saxon survivings as Lord Wygia flee. Ragnar and his men mourn the death of one of their own, Kako, and kill the Saxon that led them to the town. Athelstan looks after the children. Bjorn suggests that they head into Kattegat, but Athelstan says no. Bjorn says he wants to make a sacrifice to Odin for Ragnar's safe return. Athelstan asks what would he sacrifice and Bjorn says him. Later, Athelstan speaks to God and is angry with him for putting him in this situation. He goes and wakes up Bjorn and tells him that he will take him to Kattegat. Ragnar and his warband return to Kattegat. He is greeted by Earl Haraldson, who asks where Nut is. Ragnar tells him that he's dead. He lies and tells him that he killed him instead of Lajitha. He tells the Earl that Nut tried to rape his wife. The Earl tells him that he doesn't believe him and has him taken away. Rollo is summoned by the Earl. He tells Rollo that he'll give him some of the pillaged treasure if only he'll step out of Ragnar's shadow. The Earl also introduces him to his daughter. He tells Rollo that the man he chooses to marry her to will be like his own son. Ragnar is brought before the Earl and Sigi. The Earl makes Ragnar out to be the villain. Ragnar asks the men what they would have done if they'd seen Nut trying to rape their wives. Svein asks Ragnar if he's really going to stick to this story. Lajitha tells them that she can confirm that it happened. The Earl says that she's just covering for him because she's his wife. She reveals to all of them that she killed Nut, not Ragnar. The king still doesn't believe her. Svein tells them that they have a witness to the killing. Rollo steps forward. Rollo tells them that he saw everything. But instead of saying that Ragnar killed Nut in cold blood, he says that Ragnar had a good reason to kill him. Therefore, they can't punish him. Ragnar is set free. They have a party. Ragnar thanks Athelstan for taking care of his children. Lajertha thanks Rollo for what he did. Rollo says that he didn't do it for Ragnar, that he did it for her. Suddenly, they are attacked by a group of men. They survive, but Eric is killed. Ragnar and his family return to the farm. Ragnar is upset because of his friend's death. He grabs his roll and heads out while Athelstan watches him leave. The Earl seeks the advice of the seer. The seer tells him that there will be violence and that Ragnar searches for the Earl's death. Athelstan asks Lajertha why Ragnar goes and sits up on the hill. Later, he realizes that Ragnar is preparing himself for what's to come. See you in the next video.